highlights from Thailand here. And before you watch this video, there is a little twist to this video. So watch towards the end of the video and you'll discover what the twist is about this video. Hi, Les from Thailand here, I've retired and living the dream. And today is the day that we're going to do the video of which house that we bought. Now this is the vista behind us that we have to compete with. All the houses that we looked at, I'll never find a view like this behind me. And we've looked and looked and looked and better looked. And the houses that we looked at were on the state, so none of them had this view. So this is what I'd have to walk away from because this house that we're renting has beautiful views. But anyway, I'm going to reveal today what house we actually bought. And I'm going to go through the reasons as to why we didn't buy the ones that we looked at. So first of all, this one here at Ban Chang, this was the three bedroom, three bathroom detached house on a, a large estate. Now there was over 400 houses on this estate. It was next to a brand new Robinson shopping mall that was getting built. It had many places surrounding it, so as far as everything you wanted, it was there. It had a, a clubhouse, a swimming pool. So for a large estate, it had everything you probably you would need. But it didn't tick the boxes that we needed. My wife wanted access to a local market so she could go and carry on selling her clothes. But she isn't a very confident rider on a motorbike as there was a big succumbit road going past the entrance of this estate. My wife didn't feel comfortable being able to go on to the big succumbit road on her motorbike and sidecar. So this didn't match our needs. So this one, I'm afraid, although we got offered a, a good deal with it, we declined and turned it down. This is the second house that we went to look at, again on a, an estate in Nai Rai in Rayong. Now this ticked most of the boxes, it was in the right location, right area, close to the markets, not a busy main road. So it sort of ticked all the boxes. But we sort of struggled to get a, a loan for this one. Uh, the, the agent that we dealt with said the building company wasn't big enough to be able to provide us a loan for this particular house. Now we stopped looking for a loan for this for this house because of a couple of reasons. We looked around and as it was a brand new house, you can see here there was actually damp on the wall, rising damp, and it was almost all the way around the house. So to buy a new house that was just short of two years old, never been lived in, this was the last house on the big development, but it had damp coming up the walls and we asked if they'd fix the damp, they said yes, and they only give one year's warranty against rising damp. And if we looked at the other houses next door, and you'll see this picture here, this also had rising damp, so it was a problem. So it looked like a problem, ongoing problem, and we didn't want to pursue buying a house that already had problems with it, with the rising damp. So we didn't pursue this house. So now the third house, this one, now this one sort of ticked all the boxes and it probably ticked a few more boxes than the last two we looked after. One for affordability at 1.3 million for this house. And the reason why we picked this house was because it had a back entrance, because they were putting an access road to other houses. So therefore we could have parked the car at the front of the house, side of the house and the back of the house. And it had a slightly a bit more land than all the others for a million baht. And the house was 60 square meters. But because of the little bit of extra land at the back, you could have extended a little bit more and made another room and sort of made it into a three bedroomed house quite easily. And we got a good deal when we negotiated with the, with the owner of the building company. And we went back for a second view and we sort of got a better deal and it, we would have had it paid for within five years. Now we ummed and ahed, it was a little bit out of the area that where we wanted to live, but it ticked many other boxes for affordability and so therefore that them were the three houses. So the three methods of being able to buy a house in here in Thailand are one is using an agent who will find the, the loan and the finance for you. Two is using a big building company who will offer a finance with regard to being able to buy one of their properties. This usually works on a bigger building development. As I say, the one in Nai Rai that we 
we tried to do the same thing there. It was only a small building company. They only had about 100 houses on their development and they felt it was too small of a, a deal to be able to use an agent to be able to fund this program. And then the third method is private financing. So we chose one of the methods with regard to buying our house. So now I'm going to do the reveal as to which house we bought. So this is the house we bought. So the twist in the story is this, we bought this view. We've actually bought the house that we've been renting for the past five years through private finance. So we're actually going to live in the house that we've lived in for five years. What a fantastic deal we got um, using the private finance method. We rang our landlady up and asked whether she'd like to sell the house and she gave it a few days to think about it and decided yes that she would sell the house to us. Now I can't go into detail as to the private finance, how much we paid and what the monthly payments are because every private finance deal is up to the individual and the negotiations. But all I can say is that I believe we've got a good deal to be able to live in the house that we've lived in for five years, have this view behind me until the end of my days. It's a fantastic house, it's a fantastic location. I'm actually over the moon, as is my wife, being able to buy this house with everything that's in it. Lock, stock and barrel, everything that we have here. So a good result from our house hunting is that we're going to live in the house that we've lived in for five years. So please leave your comments down below. Thank you everybody for all the good wishes and support in my videos with regard to buying a house in Thailand. I wish everybody the best of luck if they're gonna go the same way that we went to being able to buy the own house. So from Les Retired and Living the Dream in Thailand, until the next video, bye for now.